Kylie, you didn't kill your parents, right? No, nah, hell no. Nah, nah. <laughs> we did hell not nah. kill my parents. <laughs> Whoa, what the f Celebrities surprising fans. Hollywood is truly a planet of its own. There are, however, those really cool down-to-earth celebrities. Those celebs that really go out of their way to some of their fans that make us go, oh wow, you're human too. It's not part of what they are required to do, but often some celebs want to go over and above to make their fans feel welcome. These celebs come to the realization that their success can be directly attributed to the fans that they have, and therefore take the time out of their busy schedules to actually be there for them when they are needed the most. Many times stars will show their appreciation by surprising people at weddings or even showing up to their high school prom. Let's take a look at the time some celebrities touched our hearts by surprising their fans. Ed Sheeran Ed Sheeran is the gift that keeps on giving. Not only does he drop singles every year that has our hearts beating, but also is a really nice person overall. During the Late Late Toy Show hosted by Ryan Tubridy, a longtime Ed Sheeran fan was on show thinking she was there to demonstrate the Sing karaoke app. As she started singing and showing the ins and outs of the app, her eyes were as wide as saucers as Ed Sheeran surprised her in one of television's most memorable moments. Michelle Obama Michelle Obama joined Jimmy Fallon in surprising fans who stopped on the wrong floor while riding an elevator on The Tonight Show. The tour guide would purposely bring the groups to the wrong floor, which is where the two would talk. Each group got to see Obama and Fallon doing different yet equally comical activities. Um, uh, this is great, Jimmy. This is a great book. This is a great book. Is your book good? Oh, no. I think this is really a book. Is your magic trick? Check this out. Watch it. Happy holidays. <laughs> Wait, Wait, I, I thought we were no. going to no, no, no. Hey, how you doing? Happy holidays. Post Malone. Post Malone went undercover in a record store to surprise fans as part of the new partnership with Omaz, in which he plans to give away a free Bentley and a Los Angeles trips to one lucky winner. Though many of the customers didn't recognize the rapper despite his tattoos, a few did and were excited to say the least. No. Post Malone or whatever. Okay. He sucks. You know Post Malone? Trash. You wanna buy this? I'll give you, we're trying to get rid of it because it sucks. Post Malone? Mm, I'll give it to you half off. It sucks? It's so bad. Scum. Adam? Well, it's kind of looking at this one. It's like Brahms. You like hip hop music? I don't like, I guess, I mean, I don't really understand it. I was just writing some stuff in the back. I was wondering if you could, re like, read it back to me and tell me what you think. Do you guys need help? Uh, good. Just let me know. Hey, how are you? Can I help you find anything? My name's Skyler. Oh, my God. Are you Post Malone? No. Nah, you got me already. <laughs> what do you mean you got me already? You can't walk around with those tattoos and not This is the disguise. <laughs> Justin Bieber. Okay, so Bieber wasn't technically in disguise while cruising around in a lift surprising fans. However, every customer was thrilled to spend time with the superstar on the way to their destinations. What's up? Yeah. Who is this? Justin, nice to meet you. What do you mean? How'd it go? Diego, nice to meet you, brother. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 Hi.
The Big Apple wasn't fooled by Khalid's Lyft driver disguise of a simple hat and sunglasses. He did manage to trick one customer, who unknowingly called the producer a bit much and real dramatic. Hello, Billy. You look just like my cousin's boyfriend. I was like, oh my god, David? I'm like, oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm Billy. I'm Billy. Love Jay-Z. I love Biggie. All the icons. That means you gotta like DJ Khaled. Okay, he's a bit much for me. <laughs> but why? Like, he's but he, real dramatic. I know, but he got everybody on his album. <laughs> like, wh why, is he, why is he dramatic? He's dramatic! I Everything. forgot to tell you. Mm -hmm. My name is DJ Khaled. Oh my God! It's Jesus! You think they would let DJ Khaled in the building? You are not DJ Khaled. I'm the dramatic one. <laughs> I was just listening to your joint with Drake the other day. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, it's the number one record. Oh my God! <laughs> How's everything? I like the hat. <gasps> I like that. Oh my god. Hi. Hey, what's your name? Graham. My name is Billy. No, it's not. This is what happens when you're too hot, <laughs> Oh my god. I'm like shaking right now. Kobe Bryant. When 11-year-old Los Angeles Lakers fan Marina Pilichiari woke up on Friday morning, she told her mom it was the best day of her life. Her family had traveled all the way from New Jersey to take Marina to her first Lakers game. But little did she know she was going to meet her favorite player of all time, Kobe Bryant. Hug him. I got to um, go on the court with him. It was awesome. I mean, I could not. I would never. Like I'm, I would never shower again. Like I would never. I, I, that his motivation. It like has. It's um. It's a part of me, and I've seen him play like all many times on TV. And I. Adam Levine. Getting pulled over by a cop can be a nerve-wracking experience, but it's not that bad when the cop happens to be Maroon 5 frontman Adam Levine. Adam dressed up as a meter man to prank drivers in Los Angeles and hand them tickets to a Maroon 5 concert on Jimmy Kimmel Live. The singer pretended to be writing up a real park at violation for the drivers before presenting them with concert tickets. I know this is crazy, but you have 30 seconds to actually put the money in the meter. 30 seconds, I gotta be a stickler. Sorry, it's a crowded street. Thank you. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's too late. I gotta get you a ticket, pal. Once I start, I can't stop, unfortunately. Hello, uh, I'm getting my ticket and I have a green right here. You can report it if you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not gonna make a difference, really. Okay, okay. So, I have one Tory. Don't hate the maid, hate the meter, pal. I, Sorry, I, I buddy. Don't, I don't understand. I know, I don't understand either. It's like... Want me to get on camera too? Okay, yeah, sure. Hey, how are you? What's happening? Why, why is the reason you give me a ticket? I got something here too, in case you want to report it formally. I, I feel terrible. No, no, it's weird. I feel terrible. Hey, why don't you take these concert tickets for you? Here you go. Oh. Thank you were very good. You were a cool customer. Oh, not your day. You came in a little hot. Yeah, you did, went a little fast. Falling into a parking spot? Yeah, I tried to get you in there. Your turn signal wasn't on either. I hate to be that guy, but unfortunately, I got a quarter to fill. You can't ticket somebody for pulling into a parking spot. Eh, well, you know, I guess I can. No, you can't. Agree or disagree? Oh, wait a second. No, 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 no. I know who you are. <laughs> Take the tickets and get out of here. DNCE. The downtown Los Angeles undercover lift was very successful for Joe Jonas, who many times wasn't wearing a disguise at all. One passenger noted his likeness to the Jonas Brothers, and Jonas even packed the rest of DNCE into the car. I'm trying to be a singer too, actually. You look like Joe Jonas. I get that all the time. It's ridiculous. I think we've got another pickup here. We're already picking somebody else up. We're actually going to pick another person up here. Nice to meet you. I'm Momo. Hey, Ricky. Ricky, would you rather be Nick Jonas or Joe Jonas? No, so you gotta have to pick one. Neither, I guess. Yeah, me yeah, too. Neither. But I feel like it'd be okay if I don't get the gig because I already have a gig. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lead singer of a band, DNC. Hi! <laughs> and these are members of DNC right here. And that was actually me too, funny enough. <laughs> what the? Oh, this is actually on the cover list. Robert Downey Jr. Marvel fanboy Michael V can barely stop himself from giggling and shaking when he sees the Iron Man actor in the flesh, Robert Downey Jr. What the Bubble Gang star and the companions thought was a virtual reality experience was actually just a ploy. 
Hiding behind the curtain before them was no less than Iron Man himself, Robert Downey Jr. It's made me really happy every time I go into the cinema. Perfectly bounced. As all things should be. Oh, really? What? No. What? Lady Gaga. One fan was asked to share a message with the pop titan, but little did she know she was going to come to face to face with the woman who saved her life. You're gonna stand right in the middle here for your piece, okay? You'll just come stand on this right there. How are you doing today? Hey, good, good. Hey. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh my god. How are you? How are you? How are you? <laughs> I like your shirt! Thank you! How's it going? Oh god, it's good. It's so pretty! Oh my god, you're Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. See you next time!